Are you, are you ready for a hike, Tommy? Let's go on a hike, buddy. Hop up. Well, I hope you folks are ready for a little adventure as we uh, hit the trail on this solo hike. Well, thanks for joining Tommy, the trail dog, and myself on this solo hike adventure. Uh, kind of odd, me being out here by myself just with Tommy. Um, I usually do not go solo. Uh, I usually have somebody helping me. Could be a friend, family member, running the camera, uh, just going with me exploring, you know, whatever. Uh, can even have sometimes large crews with me. So it's pretty rare that I'm by myself. Would love to hear from you guys. When you go out into the wilderness, what is your preference? Do you like going by yourself and your dog or just you alone? Or do you like having a friend, spouse, partner, whatever, a group, you know, go with you? What is your preference? For me, I was thinking about this. I, I feel like maybe like two to four is kind of ideal and I kind of prefer for the most part to go with at least one other person. Just good trail, you know, talk time and having somebody in case you get hurt, you know, all that. And uh, yeah, so I prefer like two to four. After four, it kind of gets a little crazy. Not that I won't do it, but it can tend to be a little, uh, so I think that would be my preference is like two to four people if I had a choice, but I do enjoy the rare times I do go out by myself. Really looking forward to just getting some quality time, no one around. I brought my little journal. I'm gonna take down some notes and just think and read for a little bit on top of doing some filming today. I hope uh, all of you and your families are doing well. So leave me those comments below. Do you prefer to go solo or in a group when you're hiking in the outdoors, backpacking, whatever it may be, camping? Well, I uh, hope you guys' families are doing well, regardless if you're single, married, maybe with kids, single parent, whatever it may be. Uh, keep you up to speed. Just did a backyard camp out with GT Junior. He's three years old, just recently turned three. So I wanted to see, because in the Rocky Mountains it can be kind of, uh, temperature swings are kind of crazy. Um, and on top of that, it takes a while to, to get to spots that are really worth seeing. So you gotta invest some time, energy, and have the right gear. Um, to really enjoy a camp out and I'm talking about like car camping at this point um, So did a backyard camp out with GT jr. We got an older model on sale for both the boys Of a Kelty big dipper 30 degree kids bag. So we busted that out. That was his first time sleeping in a sleeping bag sleeping in a tent and he loved it uh, he really enjoyed it. He was really looking forward to it. We were talking about it all week long. When it came to the rubber meeting the road, he was really excited, slept all night, didn't wake up at all. You know, didn't feel weird, like woke up, you know, like, where am I, uh, you know, or anything like that. Um, and uh, it was good, it was really good. And so that helps me to put, a, you know, a gauge to, you know, how he would do if we go out and camp at a lake for a few days or find a cool spot. So that was a good kind of test run. He really enjoyed it and is looking forward to, to more. Um, I wish I had the energy that uh, that little guy has. He pops his head up at 5.50 in the morning. I had just woken up, the sun was starting to come up. Um, and he's like, morning, daddy. <laughs> and then he saw the this first rays of the sun coming over the fence in the backyard. And he's like, the sun's coming up. So I think that may have been him actually seeing his first sunrise as well, which was, at least that he can remember so it's kind of cool a lot of fun 
And uh, it was cool for me too, because I, I don't think I have ever camped without the rain cover on, or the rain cover is always on every single one of my tents. Cause here in the Rockies, you're gonna get some spits, some passing thunderstorms every day when you're up in the back country. And because of how high we usually are, the temperature, you know, those rain covers help keep the heat in. So always just using them. So that was our first, because we were down in town um, at like 5,000, just over 5,000 feet. Um, we didn't use the rain cover so we could see the stars. And that was one of the few times in my life I've done that just because the temperature was lower or higher than it normally would be. So we'd love to hear from you guys as well. I mean, I view this video that I'm doing kind of like as a conversation back and forth with you, just as if I was on a trek, not solo, but with a buddy catching up on life and oh, I gotta tell you about this. I'm just gonna kind of treat it that way. We'll see how it pans out. We'll see how what your guys' comments are, if you like it or not. But yeah, tell me, when was the first time you took your kids out camping? Have you done similar kind of test runs? Are you like, no way, man, they're six months old and we're out there camping. Love to hear that. Uh, or do your kids really not like camping? You're just like, we just don't have the ability to do it. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. Ooh, yeah. This, is, this hike does have one of my favorite, favorite views. Just check that out. Beautiful scenery. Whew. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Well, we are testing out uh, the Merrill Ontario 85. It's supposed to have like a retro classic look, 1985 style to it um going to be using them on my 16 miler that i'll be doing soon uh so that's going to give them a really good workout to get a really good feel for them i really like how lightweight they are um they're, they're really lightweight they are waterproof the waterproof nice Nothing. I don't feel anything inside that toe box. That's awesome. That is nice. Feature, um, you know, they're, they're a little warm. They're on the warm side for today. We're gonna probably hit 80 uh, where I'm trekking. You know, and they're a little, like they're, they're causing a little bit of sweat. So uh, that's the only drawback in hotter temperatures um, so far that I'm seeing, but they're handling the rough terrain on this shorter hike. You know, this is just a couple miles around trip we'll be doing today uh, really well. And uh, I just love the 80s. Uh, I was born in the 80s. Really my childhood, of, you know, more like 90 to 95 uh, was really kind of my formative years. But I mean, man, there's just so much like good memories that I have from the 80s and even to this day. You know, I think of some of the toys like Micro Machines. I had tons of Micro Machines as a kid. I remember the Speak and Spell. I am the speaker sparrow. It's kind of like Satan talking to you or something. <laughs> uh, Teddy Ruxpin. I had a Teddy Ruxpin. Uh, man, what else? Uh, light brights and all of that type of stuff. And then think of like some of the best movies still, I think, to this day. Regardless if it's like Indiana Jones series. Um, I'm thinking Predator, Terminator, Back to the Future, uh, Karate Kid. I mean, these are all these are all movies you know um, this is Spinal Tap Blues Brothers these are all movies from the 80s that are just like so just iconic to me you know and the music I still listen to 80s music a bunch I mean if you think of that you know bands hitting the charts like ACDC and you know Queen and Metallica and uh, the police and 
um, Tears for Fears. <laughs> I don't listen to that, but uh, <laughs> iconic stuff uh, there. Just to name a few. I mean, you know, there's whatever. Uh, Guns and Roses, you know, lots of lots and lots of uh, 1980s bands. Um, and so I also, you know, I like the styles as well uh, from the 1980s. Some of the, some of it, not all of it, but some of those colors, some of the retro, particularly like retro outdoor stuff, I really connect with. So, I mean, stay rad, everybody. Just, just stay rad in all that you do in life, right? I mean, that should be our new catch line here at GT. It says, stay equipped, stay prepared. I'll just start saying, stay rad, and we'll see you out there. <laughs> so, folks, we'd love to hear from you. Do you like the, the 80s and the, the music and all that or is there another era that you connect with more the era of your childhood throw down some stuff that really connects with you some music movies uh toys maybe that you played with love to hear that throw those comments below let's keep that conversation going having some fun together on this hike So you may be sitting there asking yourself, Aaron, why the American flag bandana on the pack? Let's deal with that. Well, I just recently decided to just represent the country that I love more than I have in the past. No reason why I didn't before, just didn't really cross my mind. But I went out and got a USA made bandana, American flag. Oh, cause I am so grateful, so thankful. I have seen the third world. I've been to Europe. I've been to Asia. I've been to Africa. I've been to the Middle East. Seeing slums, seeing how the rich live, the wealthy and the poor alike. And I am so thankful that I was born in America. Like, so freaking thankful. And yes, America is not perfect. Name me a man-made thing that is. Doesn't exist. There have been horror, horrible, horrible things throughout our history. But just like you and me, we've all done bad, stupid, wrong stuff. But if we're willing to learn, change, and grow, that's what matters and, and fix that which is broken, fix that which doesn't work. So um, that's for me, I was just like, I'm just tired of people ragging on the country that I love and how amazing it is. So I'm just gonna represent it more when I go out hiking and backpacking, you guys are gonna just see my American flag. I'm not gonna make a big show of it, but just telling you why, you're gonna see that a lot more often, a lot more videos, particularly when I go trekking and stuff, I'm just going to wear that thing. What it stands for me of freedom, life, liberty, and the ability to pursue happiness. That happiness is not given to you. Happiness is not a right. Happiness is not something owed you. But that the design, the idea of this country and its founding is that you have the ability pr to pursue that, to chase after it. And if you work hard, you might just achieve that for yourself, for your family, to hand off to your kids. So you guys may see that. Just wanted to let you know why. I gotta say, even when you're in the middle of nowhere, I hate the fact that you can hear planes, by the way. It's very rare that anywhere I've ever been that you're not gonna get a plane every once in a while. 
but don't tell anybody. There we are at the Blade Boot Camp just over there off trail a little bit. So let's go ahead and head on in and see what the rest of this day has to offer. So I run a lead for Tommy just so that I can focus on filming. Uh, he's pretty obedient and that's all my fault that he's not more obedient. Um, just with kids and work and life, it's hard to reinforce the training that he knows. Um, but he's decent, but I mean, he loves squirrels and animals and you know, if he saw a squirrel or something, he might be gone for 30 minutes and I'm trying to hunt him down and find him. So I'll usually give him you know, whatever this is, over to him and back, low to the ground so that he can wander around, lay down. You know, he doesn't feel just tied up to a tree. So it's just a piece of paracord, running that, hanging out. Got Tommy all set up nicely, hanging out in the shade. I am gonna be, as I said earlier, a bunch of blade testing today. So one of the first things I do is I'll march around, kind of find some wood that I want to work with uh, and get it all kind of prepped so that we can baton it, chop it, carve with it, and see how the knives perform. So I already have some from previous days that we've been up here all laid out. I'm gonna look at it, see what we got. And we'll go trekking around, see if we can find some other stuff too. Found some good dead stuff to work with. Just starting to bubble, which is about where I want it for my tea. food up for him because he won't eat his breakfast, bring snacks. I mean, if it's like meat, you know, if I give him like some lunch meat or something, he'll bottle out his regular food, some treats. Maybe some of you can tell me. And I found some dates, dried dates and some nuts. Bought me some dried dates. Food and calorie intake. I'm gonna work out more. It's hard fighting the dad bod. The dad of a one year old and three year old. My wife and I are trying to get in as much running and we got the gym at the house and stuff. For days, they just don't have the time or the energy. What's really been on my mind a lot lately, just when it's like taking up headspace, is am I doing things well? Am I giving my job when I'm at work the attention it deserves? When I'm doing the YouTube channel, am I being productive? Am I just cranking out videos just to crank out videos? Or am I having fun? And am I trying to figure out new ways, new, new styles, new info to share with you guys? <clears throat> You know, and not just going through the motions of everything. Just going through the motions of being a husband. Doing what needs to be done as a husband. 
There we go. He's doing what it needs to be done as a dad. Just there you go. As a brother, as a ch- uh, as a son, of my parents, as a uh, somebody, I, uh, as a coworker, you know, as a YouTuber, I really want to do well. I really want to succeed. I really want to give 100% in every area. I'll be honest. I just need in those in these moments. I've been up here by myself today, thinking about it. you know, processing. What do I need to do? Steps I need to take, things I need to cut out of my life, things I need to start doing in my life. Uh, Just better discipline. A lot of it is just discipline, you know, being disciplined in your life. And ultimately, like, God, I I need your help, man. Uh, I I need you to come in and and give me some strength where I need strength, give me focus where I need focus, drop stuff where I need to drop stuff maybe that I don't want to. Learn how to say yes to things maybe that I've said no to in the past to put the right priorities on things. I can't do that by myself. I can't, guys. Some of you may have the willpower and ability to do it. Thumbs up. I need God's help, man. He's always faithful. He's always helped me. So, anyway. Some stupid flies around this place. Big ones too. They're not biting, thank God. But got a couple big gray ones. Look like a honeybee. I think those might be uh, deer flies or something. <clears throat> anyway, I'm just gonna try and eat a few. The hammock time. Check out this view. Well, all loaded up. Time to say goodbye to the Blade Boot Camp. Great day, peaceful. Nice to be alone every once in a while. Again, wouldn't make it my regular forte. <clears throat> so, totally random, but using this 511 LV6 to carry my firearm. I was carrying it across the chest here in the beginning, hanging it off of the sternum strap. And now I'm carrying it over the shoulder with a stabilizer. You can see how that works. Feels nice right now. Um, yeah, head home, grab a bite to eat on the way, I don't know, 50-50, there's not a lot of options, Sonic or uh, like the supermarket and get some, like a salad, maybe get some other things, kind of make a dinner, or basically a drive-in Sonic kind of my two options what would you guys do and guess which one I would have done and uh, yeah thanks for joining us on this day hike solo day hike thanks for joining us on this solo day hike hope you guys have enjoyed it let me know if you like this style again it's been fun for you or like boring let me know love you guys stay equipped stay prepared we'll see you out there safe way for me tonight Let's see what we'll get inside. I'm trying to go on the healthier side. Greek salad, chicken chipotle wrap, and a cold brew. Got a few other things for cookout soon. There you go. Whoever got Safeway and went with the healthy option, you win.